So guys, the whole purpose of this channel is to give you the most simple and actionable information when it comes to using AI as a complete beginner. There's so many different free AI tools out there and most people don't know how to use them to their full advantage. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a simple workflow when it comes to using Perplexity and the Google AI Studio. This is going to be especially useful for those of you that already have a digital product available, or maybe you're thinking about creating your first one and putting it out there for the world to see. And the best part is AI can assist you along every single step of the way from research to creation to publishing and getting traffic. And just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, I built this demonstration website where, as you can see, it's all about helping people when it comes to understanding content, specifically YouTube. And if I just scroll down over here, I've got this ebook available on this website where it's going to help people that want to get into YouTube and they want to be able to do it by themselves. I'm not going to show you the steps that I took when it came to building this particular ebook because it's pretty straightforward. I want to show you different methods or strategies that you can use or that I would use if I wanted to get traffic to this website using all of these different free AI tools. But in today's video, I'm going to be specifically focusing on perplexity and Google AI Studio, a workflow that any of you are going to be able to use straight after this video. And before I get into it, for those of you that are wondering, I did build this site using Hostinger's AI website builder as well. So that's another way that AI can help you. I went through the whole process of building a website, it took me about 10 minutes, maybe five minutes for me to complete everything from building the digital product to getting all of these different graphics and images that you can see and also getting the website built as well. But I'm going to come back to this website in a moment. Now, the first thing that you're going to do with this entire workflow is to initially go over to Perplexity and you need to come over to the left hand side and you're going to see the word install. Just click on it just like this. And what you need to do if you want to follow along with what I'm doing is install this one, the Comet browser. Many of you probably haven't heard of this. Maybe you have heard of it, but there's a very unique way that you can use it when it comes to helping you with this entire process and for those of you that's not sure of what the comet browser is it's similar to google chrome you know we're all used to google chrome safari maybe internet explorer so it's basically like that and it works in a similar way but of course because it's ai it's going to have some advanced features but of course i'm going to show you everything as we go along so all you need to do once you get to this point is install whichever one that you need to install I'm using a MacBook, so this is the one that I would select. And once you have installed it, it should take about maybe two, three minutes for you to do that. Don't worry, you don't need to pay anything. It's gonna take you over to the browser and this is what it's going to look like. So I'm gonna quickly walk you through what I would do when it comes to using all of these different AI tools to get traffic. So one of the initial prompts that I'm going to enter is going to be this one, which says, I have a website that has an ebook listed and I've just given it a basic title of the ebook right there. Can you tell me 10 unique ways that I can get this website ranked in the Google search results? You know, methods that I'm probably not thinking about. So this is a prompt that you can enter and stick with me because all of this is going to make sense. And I'm sure that you're gonna be blown away by what I'm about to show you. So I'm gonna enter this prompt. I'm gonna click on this button right here. And as we can see, it's now coming back with all of these different ideas. And the reason why this is helpful is because many of these different ideas, maybe I wasn't thinking about them and maybe you wouldn't have been thinking about them as well. Most people tend to think of publishing blog articles for them to get their site ranked in Google, which isn't a bad way to go, but there's some other unique ways that may be a little bit more beneficial. For example, there's this one over here that says interactive tool integration. This is definitely something that not the everyday person thinks about, but with the help of all of these different AI tools, including the new updates with the Google AI Studio, we're now gonna be able to do something simplistic like this when it comes to helping us get traffic. Because from this point, what I'm now gonna be able to do and what you can do as well is just enter the next prompt that says, can you give me the top 10 simple tools that will be perfect for my specific website? And because it already knows what type of digital product I have and what the general theme is, we're going to be able to hopefully get some good ideas that it's going to be able to come back with. So I'm just going to give it a few seconds. All right, perfect. So as we can see, it's now coming back with all of these different options, you know, things like tag optimizer, maybe thumbnail checker, title tester. There's a long list, but I'm just going to enter this next prompt that says, can you list the top 10 websites ranked 
in the Google search results within my niche that have all of these simple toolkits that I could possibly replicate using the Google AI Studio. All right, so once again, it's now come back with exactly what I asked for. So there's all of these different sites that are using these different toolkits to get traffic, but I'm gonna click into a random one. Let's just click into this one right here. Okay, there we go. So this is an example of what an interactive toolkit looks like. People search for these things on Google and it's a great way for you to get traffic because it's something that people are actually gonna be able to use and it's something that is going to allow people to land on your website, which is of course now going to lead them to whatever service or product that you might have available. But this is where we're gonna be able to take perplexity to the next level because as you can see in the top right-hand corner, there's this feature here called Assistant. So what you can do is click into it and you're now gonna be able to use this assistant for it to use the toolkit live so that it has an understanding of exactly how it works. And then from there, it's now gonna give you the information and the prompts that you need when it comes to replicating this exact same one. And to show you exactly what I mean, if I just enter this prompt into the assistant mode, and what this says is scan this website and test out this tool for a channel that gets 50,000 views per month, because as you can see over there, you can enter the monthly views and the person is gonna be able to get an estimate of what they're gonna be able to earn from their YouTube channel. So I'm just going to enter this prompt and we should see it live start to scan the website right before our eyes. Okay, so as we can see, Perplexity has now gone straight to work. It's just entered 50,000 views into the correct field. It's clicked on the right button. It's adjusting the estimate CPM. And by the way, everything that's happening right now is happening live. I'm not pressing anything on the keyboard. And the reason why we need to go through this step is because I want Perplexity to have a full understanding of how this toolkit works. So the fact that it's using it itself, it's going through everything, it's testing it out. What this means is that I'm now gonna be able to use it when it comes to getting the right prompt for me to build my own. So as we can see, that took maybe 20 seconds. It tested it out and it's come back with all of the details as to how it works. But this now brings me on to one of the final prompts that I'm going to enter into the Perplexity browser, which is this one that says, now give me a full prompt for Google AI Studio to build a similar YouTube calculator that functions in the same way. Make sure that it's gonna be HTML based and simplistic for me to embed on my website. Make sure that it's a red and white color code. So you can get as specific as you want. You know, I've kept it pretty basic. I'm just gonna click on enter and straight away, it's now come back with a detailed prompt that I'm gonna be able to use when it comes to replicating my own toolkit, similar to the one that we can see on this website. And guys, by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, you're learning anything, you got any sort of value from the video, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. And subscribe as well so that you don't miss future videos just like this. So now that I've got the prompt for the Google AI Studio, I'm gonna be able to copy it just like that. And to be able to find this, if you're not sure, you just need to go over to the URL aistudio.google.com. Again, it's completely free for you to try out. And the Google AI Studio is built using Gemini 3. So you're gonna be able to use the latest AI model when it comes to doing what we're about to do. So now that I've got the prompt from Perplexity, I'm just gonna come over to the chat section. I'm just going to enter it in there just like that. And then I'm gonna click on run. And what the Google AI Studio should come back with is a HTML code that I'm now gonna go back over to my website using Hostinger and I'm gonna be able to build my own interactive toolkit. So that's the beauty of everything that I'm showing you because I would say a year ago, two years ago, before we had all of these different AI tools, you would have had to have known how to code basic coding, but you still would have had to know how to do it. You would have had to have done all of this research yourself, scanning through all of these different websites, testing out everything yourself, but all of these different AI tools just make things a lot more simplistic. But as we can see right here, the AI Studio is currently writing out the entire code. So I'm gonna wait for it to be done. It's gonna take maybe a minute or so, but as soon as it's finished, I'm gonna be back ASAP and I'm gonna show you the final results. All right, guys, I'm back. So I've now got the full code. And the only thing that you need to do from this point, if you're following along, is just copy the entire code by clicking on this. Then what you wanna do if you've already got your own website built, and if you don't, you're gonna be able to use Hostinger. I'm gonna leave all the information down below. 
I would say that it's one of the best platforms when it comes to this particular use case that I'm showing you, because what you're gonna be able to do is just click into the editor and then come over here to pages on the left-hand side. And it's gonna be here where you're gonna be able to add a brand new page. So I'm just gonna click on this button. I'm gonna use Hostinger's AI page maker to do this. So I'm just gonna click on generate page and I'm just going to enter this prompt that says, I will be uploading a YouTube calculator to this page to help all of my visitors. So you can be as detailed as you want. As you can see, you can add up to 700 characters. And what Hostinger is going to do is build the basic structure and the foundation of this particular page. So what you got to do is click on this button. As you can see, it's designing the layout, it's writing the unique content, it's looking for any valuable pictures, and it's also optimizing it for mobile view as well. Okay, here we go. So this is the page, looks pretty decent, and there's gonna be some work you need to do when it comes to just adding the code and the toolkit from the Google AI Studio. So if I just click on add section, I'm gonna come over here to a blank section, then what I'm gonna do is click on elements and select embedded code. And then literally what you gotta do is just click on enter code, paste everything you got from the Google AI Studio in there just like that, and then click on this button. Okay guys, and there we go. This is what it looks like. Now, of course, you're able to make it fit as best as possible in this section. So I'm just going to expand it out. I'm also going to reduce the length of this section just like that. I'm gonna bring it up. And to get a better view, I'm just gonna click on preview and this is basically it right here. So it's fully functional. Let's say if a channel is getting, I don't know, 100,000 views per month, it's gonna be able to update everything accordingly. The person can also update their minimum CPM, their maximum CPM. It's gonna break down the estimates based on the Google AdSense as well as the digital products or merch or whatever the case is. And remember guys, the reason why I've done this is because people are searching for this on Google all the time, which means that they're now gonna be able to hopefully come across my website, they're gonna be able to use this. And then from there, they're of course now going to click into other sections of the website and it should now lead them back to whatever digital product I've got available. And the reason why I normally recommend Hostinger for this particular use case is because if I just click into the editor and then go back over to the page, what you're gonna be able to do is set up SEO, which is search engine optimization. So if I just click on it just like that, Hostinger is going to allow you to use the AI SEO assistant tool, which is basically going to allow you to get organic traffic to this website. You don't need to pay anything when it comes to using this. All you gotta do is click on this button, tell it about your page, and then from there, it's gonna add all of the necessary keywords, it's gonna add all of the data to the page to give it the best chance of being viewed by as many people. So it's automatically added this page description if I just click on next step. I'm now gonna be able to select all of the keywords that I want to rank for. So I can select three of the best ones that relate to what this page is about. So I'm just going to select these three. From there, Hosting is going to give me a preview of what it's going to look like in the search results. So this is also really helpful. And it's included the SEO title as well as the metadata. And from there, all I gotta do is click on finish and it's now gonna be updated on the page and hopefully Google is also going to index it accordingly. And for those of you that have gotten to this point, but maybe you haven't got your digital product built, maybe you haven't even taken your first official step, it's very simple. It's all about knowing the blueprint that goes into it and just executing it in the best possible way. Like for example, as you can see on the screen, this is what I would recommend to anyone that's looking to get started with everything that we've discussed today. You know, using a simple tool like Google Gemini, you know, the 3.0 version when it comes to giving you a basic step-by-step -step plan, you know, there's a method that you can use when it comes to inserting the right prompt and it's gonna give you a detailed step-by-step -step formula that's gonna be suitable based on the situation or just the type of digital product that you're thinking about building. From there, what you would need to do is of course, go through the stages of actually building out the digital product. And there's different ways that you can do this depending on what digital product you're thinking about making. For example, if it's an ebook, there's a AI tool that you can use when it comes to writing out the entire thing. And it's also going to format it in the best way with graphics and images. So things are really simple in the times that we're living in. Of course, from there, you now want to list it on a platform. And one of the ones that you can use is Hostinger. As I've shown you in this video, there's so many different ways that 
they've made it simplistic for beginners. It's got so many different AI tools. And right now, as I make this video, they've currently got a Black Friday sale. Or even if you're watching this video, maybe a week, two weeks, a month, a year after I've made it, they've always got different discounts that are happening. So just check the link and also the coupon code in my description. Of course, from there, you want to make sure that you've got your payment processors set up as well. And once you have got all of that set up, when it comes to making the most of what I've shown you in this video of using perplexity and the Google search engine, you just wanna make sure that you've connected your website to the Google search console. This is what you need to do beforehand because if you don't do it, then Google isn't going to know that your website exists. And if they don't know it exists, then they're not gonna be able to index it in the search results. So this is definitely something that you need to do. From there, I would advise that you don't just rely on the Google search engine, you wanna use other platforms, for example, short form platforms like Instagram. Because with Instagram, you're gonna be able to use something called ManyChat, which is another AI tool that's going to automate your DMs. And it's just gonna help you reach more people and be able to speak to them one-on-one -on -one without you having to manually do it. And of course, you don't wanna forget email marketing as well. Now, I'm gonna leave everything there. I do have another video coming out real soon where I'm gonna be able to expand on many other things when it comes to perplexity, using the Google AI Studio and some other AI tools. But if you wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made maybe yesterday or two days ago, you're gonna be able to watch it by clicking the link right there. In that one, I expand on every single element in this blueprint in more detail, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can execute each one. I've already got a lot of good feedback from this video. It's helped out so many people, and I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish and really take note and listen to what I'm saying, it's also gonna help you out as well. But as always guys, I'm gonna catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.